Peggy 18. Hi, my name is Colin Graham, and I'm the animation director on Watch Dogs. Today we're going to take a look at some of the groundbreaking multiplayer gameplay. In the world of Watch Dogs, everything is connected. We took the online features and we blended them seamlessly with the single player features of the game. So the single player and the multiplayer, it all happens in the same world. Right now we're going to show you how we can connect to other players in three very distinct ways. Online hacking contracts, CTOS mobile companion app, and the competitive decryption combat. In Watch Dogs, everyone casts a digital shadow. All that information is out there for us to see. Right now in the game, we're exploring the living city. I'm using the profiler to hack citizens. I'm looking for personal data. I'm also looking for bank accounts, collecting passwords, and learning their secrets. In Watch Dogs, these secrets will lead to gameplay. I was listening to these guys on the bench, and you can see that one of them has an open online contract. Now if I accept this contract, I would actually enter another player's game. But I'm not ready to hack another player just yet, so I'm going to keep going. I just got hacked. <laughs> there must have been a contract out on me too. If you look at the mini-map at the bottom right, it shows you that somewhere in that circle is another hacker. I'll have to profile everybody to figure out who the hacker is. Just to explain to you what happened, let's rewind a bit and take a look at this from another player's point of view. Hi, my name's Carsten Myhill from the Assassin's Creed brand team, and I've been invited to try out some of Watch Dogs online features. It's me that's hacking into Colin's game, and I'm going to show you how I did that. I've chosen this inconspicuous vehicle, and I'm going to park up here and survey the situation. There's Colin over there. As you can see, he looks like a random NPC. He does not look like Aiden in my game. Only I look like Aiden in my game, and of course Colin looks like Aiden in his game. Now I'm going to hack into that camera up there and get a better view of the situation. So there's Colin again. I'm going to get ready to hack into his game now. He should be aware of my presence in his game at this moment, so he's going to start looking for me. So I'm going to stay put and hope he doesn't notice me. Back on my side, I just can't find the hacker. I'm going to need to take action. I'm causing the citizens to panic. I want to see who doesn't react like a real civilian. But unfortunately for me, one of them is also calling the cops. So I can see the chaos that Colin has caused. I'm going to stay put and hope he doesn't see me and try and complete the hack from here. On my side, I've got everybody fleeing the scene, but I still can't find the hacker. He's somewhere in this crowd. He's hiding in a taco truck? Seriously? Oh crap, I just blasted one of the civilians too. That's not going to be good for my reputation. I'm going to have to take this car and I'm going to have to run him off the road. Absolutely getting hammered by the cops. My initial idea to smoke them out really worked, but with all these cops, this is really starting to backfire. Looks like I've just about escaped from Colin here. I'll just hack this bridge and raise it behind me just to make absolutely sure. And indeed, I've avoided being killed by Colin, uh, which will get me some notoriety points for a partial success, uh, which will mean that I can unlock some new skills. I must say I've grown quite attached to this little taco truck. Even though Karsten did get away, I still spotted the hacker and I got some partial notoriety points. I'm going to use that to upgrade my skills tree. Karsten, thanks for coming by. Oh, my pleasure. Tons of fun. Now, let's move on to something different. Here I just accepted a challenge to play against somebody on the free CTOS mobile app. You see this helicopter? Suspect. That's controlled by a mobile player. He controls the helicopter and he tries to fix the spotlight on me, and he also controls the police. In fact, he controls anything that can be hacked. 
and he's going to use all of that against me. The mobile player has challenged me to a race course. He could be sitting right next to me, or he could be halfway around the world, sitting on a bus. As Aiden, it's my goal to get across the city and get through all of the checkpoints on time. The mobile player's goal is to try and stop me. Remember, I'm still driving in the same world. I learned these streets from playing the single player campaign, so I'm familiar with the alleyways and the hackable items. I can anticipate all of the hacks that the mobile player is using against me. With a tap on the screen, they can explode steam pipes, raise barriers, and cause massive traffic accidents. For the mobile player, the city is truly in the palm of their hand. I'm getting hammered here because the mobile player is redeploying the cops. I've been dodging all of his hacks, so he needs the help of the police officers to run me off the road. He tried to take me out with a steam pipe hack, but I managed to slip past, and he knows. As you can see, he's able to send me a little message about the next time we meet. As with all the online gameplay, this is also going to contribute to my skill tree. Now we're going to join a group of friends to steal and decrypt a phone. But that won't be easy because we're not the only team looking for it. And here come my guys now. We're going to have to storm this building to get the file. And there's the other team. David's flanking left to slow them down and we're heading right. They managed to pick up the file before us, but decrypting it takes time. So we're going to get close, and we're going to interrupt their decryption process. Then we can kill them and take that file. And the trick is to use the environment to your advantage. You can generate cover, and you can also create distractions. Well, the enemy's busy with all the movement on the right, I'm coming in from the shadows. They dropped the file, so I'm going to go get it. Here's David coming in from behind, and the file is ours to decrypt. We just jump ahead a bit. We know the other team is coming back, so we want to lure them into a trap. All right, it's hot. It's armed. I'm gonna hack. Cover me. Now that they're here, we want to keep them out of range so they can't steal the file back from us. It's time to get out of here. The closer you are to your teammates, the faster the decryption goes. So we're going to get moving and keep this away from the other team. starting to lose, so they have to get close to us. They have to get back in range. We don't want that to happen, so once again we're going to use the environment to fight them off. Like hacking that steam pipe. It blows them right into the wall. My team has changed strategy. We've all got our own cars in case we need to keep the enemy away from the guy that's holding the file. They're close enough again to interrupt my decryption, and saving my jam comms is really needed. Jam comms temporarily shuts down their hacking event. All we need to do now is hold them up. Files decrypted. Victory is ours. Enough playing with friends. Now I feel like continuing my single player campaign. I can see that Jordy's close by. I'm gonna go see what he's up to. We've just shown you three different ways that Watch Dogs allows you to seamlessly connect your experience with other players. In the world of Watch Dogs, everything is connected. We look forward to seeing you online May 27th.